all of the um, bands, the decorative bands, are applied to the rocket. And now we have to put rivets on them like we did before. Um, now since I put these on, somebody had, I talked to somebody and he says that uh, Gorilla Glue also makes fairly good rivets. Um, and I think the reason for this is that because it's a urethane glue, it's, it doesn't have water in it. So it, it's a, it's a uh, chemical cure, but it requires moisture from the air. So it sucks in moisture, moisture from the air that causes the reaction that causes it to harden. Um, so it actually, it actually foams up a little bit. So um, he says that Gorilla Glue makes some good rivets. Unfortunately, my bottle is hard as a rock since it's pretty old. So I'm gonna go to my old standby, which is uh, the Rocket Poxy, which is a two-part paste epoxy. Now that's the um, B side, and this is the A side. Um, and I got a little mixing cup here. So you take an equal glob. See, it's a little bit thinner than peanut butter. Um, you put it in the container and wipe it off so you don't contaminate the other container. So that looks about the same as that. And then just mix it together. Until you get a consistent color. Okay, it's mixed, but um, the way we apply this is we take a little, where'd my little, oh, here it is right here. I just got a little wire piece here, uh, and we're going to dab it on. We're going to grab a little bit, and we're going to dab it on to the rocket. Um, but right now it's a little bit too thick, so if I tried to apply it to anything, it probably wouldn't stick very, or it wouldn't flow out the way I want it to. So I thin it down just a little bit with uh, just some regular rubbing alcohol. And I'm just gonna put in a couple drops. Ooh, missed. That's good, because enough went into the container. And I'll just mix that in, and it'll thin it out just a little bit. When you first start mixing, it doesn't want to go in, but eventually it'll go in and then you'll notice that it got a lot thinner. Oops. Okay. So it's kind of like that and now it'll start to flow around a little bit nicer. And then we're going to take our little stick. And I recommend doing this rocket in parts so that um, it's easier to hold. So then you just take it and you just put a dab on. Grab a little bit more, put a little dab on. And it does take a long time to do the entire rocket. Uh, you could probably figure on mixing up at probably two or three little batches. Um, and you probably got about 20 minutes of working time. So this is going to take a while. <laughs> um, I have done all the little rivets on the rocket. They're all hard now. Um, they look out, they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, our next step is to paint the rocket. 
This um, will start by masking off the wood parts. Um, I don't want these to be painted. I want them to look like wood. I think I'll actually stain them. Um, so basically it's just wrapping tape around the outside to keep the paint from getting on the wood. like that and I'll just go around the whole thing um, when I paint it I'll probably paint it in sections it's a little hard to hold so I take a, uh, a body tube glue a rocket motor into it and I use that as a holding stick that way um, you know I can I can spray easily get get around different places without having to touch the rocket when I get to big parts like this um, I'll take a, a body tube and stick it in there like that. That gives me a holding stick. Um, I can I can do it from both ends. Sometimes you want to grab from both ends when you're painting. Um, for the small ones, for the strap-on boosters, again, um, body tube with a rocket motor glued into it. Old rocket motor, of course. Um, just stick it in there like that. Gives you it makes it nice and convenient, easy to hold. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this. Uh, so I'm Tim Van Milligan. This is Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Our website is ApogeeRockets.com. Over here to the side we have other videos I'm sure you're going to like. Um, down below if you're on YouTube are our comments, subscribe button, and the like button. Give us a like. Um, and if you have questions go ahead and, and put those down there. We really appreciate it when you, when you talk to us. Um, so again, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.